Science with Fred. Vacuum. Hello, class. It's me, Fred. And yes, this is not bloopers. I actually found out what a vacuum is. So here we go. A vacuum is a space that is empty of matter. The word it, the word stems from the Latin adjective for vacuus, for vacant or void. An approximation to such vacuum is a region with... Okay, this is just confusing. Oh, crap. <laughs> I screwed up. Um, here's an easier one. <laughs> A region of space in which there is no matter, a region of space having extremely low grass pressure relative to surrounding pressure, the air pump of a vacuum cleaner, or for example, drastically reduces the air pressure inside the device, creating a vacuum. The pressure difference causes air to... Are you serious? I'm looking up a vacuum cleaner. Oh my god, I screwed up. Please don't tell me. Darn it. Okay, I think this is going under bloopers too. Crap. Okay. Here we go. So, let me tell you about vacuums, class. A vacuum is a space with no matter in it. As a practical matter, though, it's really it's really a space with very little matter in it. You might already know that it's really, really, really hard to get all the matter out of any space. You got that right. Shut up. <laughs> Believe it or not, vacuums are very important and are becoming very useful more useful every day. There's actually a whole branch of science dedicated to creating and studying vacuums. Oh, really? Yes. Well, that's amazing. And all right. Many modern devices like the integrated circuits chips that make everything from cars to computers work have to be fabricated in a vacuum. Wow. Er, wow. Jefferson Lab uses vacuums for thermal insulation. A lot of their equipment only work at extremely cold temperatures. We operate, or they operate, <laughs> at two degrees above the lowest possible temperature in the universe. You bet we're paying it. You bet that, oh my god, you bet they're paying attention to insulation. If you could insulate your home with the same insulating vacuum that they use for their accelerator, then you wouldn't need a furnace at all. Even outer space, which is considered a vacuum, has less matter in it than anything mankind can reproduce. Still has some, still has some atoms bouncing around. So, it, as you can see, it's very hard to create a vacuum but there's a whole branch of science dedicated to it. And even outer space, which is basically a vacuum, still has atoms bouncing around. So, let me look up... Um... Okay, that's it. There's really nothing else I can explain. Um, that's basically what a vacuum is. Yeah. Um, thank you for watching. I only used the computer because the science book didn't have anything, so... Sorry if I disappointed a few of you, but... Anyway. Thank you for watching in the next... Ep or, or, yeah, episode, we will be talking about black holes, which I actually have a lot of knowledge about because... I'm science with friends. Woo!
Thanks for watching. Bye. Silence with Fred. Next week, black hole or next. Oh my God. Next video is um black holes. Da, 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 da. Hey, that's my line. <laughs> Loser. Lol.